Hello, everyone. Glad to all it here and welcome to my craft room. I'm an independent stamping of demonstrator from the west coast of Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. And I got my Boho Beach kit in today and I thought, well, I'm not doing anything else. Why don't I just share with you guys what the kit's all about? So I'm just over in Facebook making sure that it's up and running. We'll see if anybody joins me. There we are. Good. I know it was last minute and I didn't plan this because I told you last night I wasn't going to go live, but I got the kit in and I was so excited. This is called Boho Beach and it's beach themed and you know me and beaches. So I just had to do it. So let me flip you around. I haven't even unwrapped the plastic yet because I only got it in this afternoon. So hang on. Let's see what's in the kit. Here's the box. It's not a pretty box. It's a plain box. <coughs> oh, Facebook users here. wonder who that is. Just opening the box. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, Valerie. Hi, Carmen. So my sneeze has happened already, so we shouldn't have, shouldn't be interrupted by my sneeze again. I should keep statistics on how many times I go live and don't sneeze. <laughs> okay, so this is just your regular Stampin' Up! box. And I am so excited to open it. <laughs> Pecan pie. You need the girl doing the post stamp for, oh, yeah. I don't know whether I even kept that one. I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember. I'd have to look. Okay, stamp set that says, sit back and relax and enjoy your day. So there's a couple of. I don't, they're not beachy theme, but it's got dots, so it can't be a bad kit, right? Okay, there we go. Put the box over there, and looky, looky, looky what we're going to be doing. Who has it? Oh, Valerie, you're funny. I'll just pop over there and get it, right? It may take me three days to get there, but... And then the three days to get home. Okay, there it goes. Ah! Rid of all that plastic. So how are you guys doing tonight? Did you have a good day? I did. My orders are all caught up. All the ones that were supposed to be here are here. Okay, we have some linen thread. Oh, this one comes with a block. I forgot that all of these um, these kits come with a block. Now, it's uh, the same size block as our D. See, it's the same size, but it's thinner. So this is the paper pumpkin. They call it the paper pumpkin block. This is the one you get with paper pumpkin when you order your very first kit. So. I'm just going to save that and I'll put it somewhere and I'll use it at some point for somebody who is new to me and some dimensionals. Oh, look at these gorgeous envelopes. Look at them. They're all the same. There's eight of them. So we're making eight cards. Oh, good, Carmen. It okay, and here's the card bases. So there's going to be four of that kind. I assume that brown goes down, and four of this kind, which means I'm going to get eight cards because you know me, I cut them in half, I don't use them as card bases. So get one of each. It is an awesome kit. Oh, hi, Lena. It is an awesome kit. The day it came out, I sold four of them. <laughs> that's 
So I'm hoping that you guys are going to like this enough and order it tomorrow because you know what tomorrow is? Free shipping day. Okay, they've got those. So we'll just pop out two of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there'll be one on each card. And we'll just take two envelopes. So we have the stamp set and we have those two. And then, oh, it's got umbrellas. Take one out of there, an umbrella and a leaf. I like leaves, I like spot splotches and I like beets. So how much more perfect could this kit be? Honestly, okay, and one of those, and oh, we got an extra one. Oh, they gave us extra ones of each of those. Oh, nice. Oh, and a chair. It is an awesome kit. It's thirty dollars in Canada plus tax and tomorrow if your order is over a hundred dollars or you send your order to me and I put it in a group order and that group order hits a hundred dollars then shipping is free okay cardboard I saved that for other stuff and there's the kit so there's the cards that we're making Ooh, look at those so let's go ahead, we'll make one of each of them, and then we'll see what happens with the other ones. So I'm going to cut these in half. Okay, so we have two and two. So we'll put those aside because we'll make second cards, but we're going to put make these the way they're meant to be. Hi, Dimity. Who said they like that? Oh, Dimity, me too. And the good thing is that it's available to you guys over there in Australia, where uh, the paper pumpkin kits kits are not. Dimensionals and my adhesive. So let's get this onto the card front. This would be a perfect kit to take camping with you in the summer. Because you could sit by the beach and make beach cards. So apparently this one's going this way. Which way do I like it? I like it with, uh, I like it this way. This is the top. What do you think? That's going, oh, oh, come on. Don't stick yet in where I want you. There we go. Oh, I just have to shave just a, a hair off the edge of that. There we go. There's one. Oh, good idea, Dimity. Because you never know with these kits how long it's going to take for them to, till they're sold out. Because unfortunately, the kits are like the online exclusives. They're here while we have them. And then we never know whether they're going to be replenished or not until they disappear. So it's one of those get it while you can things or you might miss out. So I know these are available now today because I just checked. All right. There we go. 
There's our two card bases. Hi, Norma. Here's our two card bases. Woohoo. Get our instructions out here. Okay, so this is card number one. For that, I need the umbrella. I need the little one of these, the blue tag, and the brown leaf. And for the second card, I need the brown tag, the big leaf, or the big brown leaf, the leaf, and the chair. Oh, there's the glue dots too, but I won't be using those. And I need twine. Okay, let's find out how much. Let's find out how much twine I need for this one. Card number one, I need 12 inches. Um, card number two, I need seven inches. We'll just put those up there. So we were sitting there after dinner watching TV. Well, I was watching the inside of my eyeballs for a while. <laughs> Uh, God, I love my after-dinner snoozes. Let me tell you, they are precious. Anyways, I, do, I don't usually um, snooze if I don't put my heated blanket on. But today I felt like I needed my heated blanket. Anyways, I digress. We were sitting there after dinner, and I looked outside. I saw a movement out past our patio. And I looked outside and there's mummy deer and her baby with little spots. He was, they, I don't know whether he or she, they were so cute. All I could see was the heads or the ears popping up along the edge of our patio. <laughs> so it must have been like a foot tall, maybe 18 inches tall. Okay, number one, we are going to take I need a couple of more. I need a couple of more blocks because I don't like to go back and forth when I'm doing these kits. So just let me get. There we go. And tomorrow is my June class, Cheerful Daisies. So we are going to stamp together tomorrow. Maybe the baby deer will show up and you guys will get it, get to see something cool. Okay, not that one. I need this and I need that. Okay. And I got my pecan pie ink pad. Okay, who said they're late? Hi, Marsha. <laughs> Welcome. You're not. You're only late if I'm done, and then you're not really late. You're just watching the replay. Okay, I'm going to take card number two and put it over to the side. And we're going to work on number one. So this one has 12 inches of ribbon. And the brown leaf. And the green. Oh, I didn't tell you what the coordinating colors are. Let's find out what these coordinating colors are. Crumb cake, lost lagoon, pecan pie, pool party, and wild wheat. Hello, friendly crafter. Who's that? Oh, Marsha. <laughs> so, Holly, if you're watching this or you're catching the refund, it's got, or the refund, the rewind, it's got wild weed in it. Okay, so I need to stamp some dots along the bottom here and stamp that. Um, leaf image. Oh, man. It's like, where did my brain cells go? And we're going to we're going to stamp 
have some dots in dots in the sand. You know, I should have ink stamp stamp. Let me get a piece of stamping paper out. Whoop. Everything's attached. Of course, I didn't do the ink stamp stamp thing, so. There we go. Okay. They're still napping after dinner. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yes, napping after dinner. Okay, now this, I need to stamp one of these. Let me look at the at what the card looks like so I know where to stamp. Okay, so we're, see, there's the card, and we're going to pile all that stuff in front of it. Okay. Inking it up and stamping it down. And then on here, we want enjoy your day. Okay, I think that's it for stamping. And they want me to use those glue dots, but I think I'm going to use Tombow. So let me get some Tombow. Everything is flat, right? I don't see any dimension. It's just the, just the sentiment that is on dimensionals. That I can put adhesive on. Get some. I managed to get be crafty today. I am I'm working on cards for Facebook Lives and today I made another one using the Stargazer designer paper. I didn't get the bundle. All I got was the paper. And I thought, what the heck am I going to do with this if I don't have the stamp set? Well, let me tell you. Tune back in on the 3rd of July and you will see what I made with the Stargazer paper and no matching dies. There we go. Oh, somebody else is here. Hello, Donna. Now, I have to keep going back and forth when you guys talk because, you know, it's that whole StreamYard thing and not allowing me to see names. and <sighs> It's okay. Don't stop talking. Keep talking. Make sure you hit those emoji buttons if you're enjoying my video. And if you're watching the replay, thank you. And if you're watching on my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button that's like right down there, that big red subscribe button. And then you can... Find out whenever I put new videos up, which is often three or four times. Oh, Valerie got floor tiles in the bathroom right across from the craft room. Then he asked if he could store the tools in there till the morning. What? Store tools in your craft room? What a sacrilege. Does he not know? Like, come on, dude. <laughs> Okay, I need to move these things that have got glue on them because I know I'm going to stick this in. So this goes down first. And it's going to go like that. Then we're going to put the umbrella on. And it's going to go... like that and then 
this is going to go like that. See all those things piled on top? Oh, who's that? Dimity got the paper and made her grandson a card for his seventh birthday on the 22nd. Well, happy seventh birthday to your grandson. That's awesome. We have a reprieve on birthdays now until maybe next month, I think. I think we have one. Oh, my sister. Oh, my. Oh, shoot. My sister's birthday is the 1st of July. I better get her card in the mail. Oops. Valerie says she's getting a new bathroom and the wall is gone between the small rooms for a huge craft room. So it's bet it's the least I could do. Oh, that's good. Okay, so this is going to go here. But first of all, I have to do this funky thing with... They want me to do like an extra big bow thing. Hang on, I'm just going to get a piece of tape. Because where is it going? It's going on this side. So they want me to do this funky bow type, big loopy thing. Let's see if this is going to work. Oh, I hear a plane. Hubby will be out there with his new plane app. Okay. Apparently, I put it on the wrong side. So my hubby had, in, really enjoys um, the weather. He's got weather apps and he enjoys telling me what's happening with the weather and, you know, Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and what it's going to be and blah, 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 blah. Secret, it gets a little boring after a while, but it's his jam and that's what he does. But now he's got this new, this new app that tells him what planes are in our neighborhood and what elevation they're playing they're flying at and where they came from and where they're going to i said to him today well you got a new hobby it's not only the weather anymore now you're following the planes that is really i don't know do you like that type of a floppy bow thing happening i don't know Maybe if I don't make it quite so floppy, let's make it a little bit more refined. We'll do this. And then we'll do this. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of plane activity out there. We have, we've had um, flights in and out of Port Alberni since don't like that. We've had flights in and out of Port Alberni ever since they shut our road down. So they're doing daily flights. You can finally, you can get from um, Nanaimo, which is an hour away, and um, Qualicum, which is half an hour away, to and from Port Alberni. And they've started them out of Tofino as well. So it's nice that they are being accommodating to all these poor people that are stranded. Okay, why is that? Karma doesn't like the big bow either. So I'm making a smaller bow. But apparently I'm bow challenged. I'm trying to make this a double bow out of the twine I already cut off because I don't want to waste it. Come on. There, it's a little bit better. Now, if I put this on here, like that, and we can put our bow right there. Yep, it's exactly what I want to do. Except I don't like the bow, so I have to. Sorry. 
you guys are just going to have to put up with the the fact that I don't like that bow. Now I'm going to try and make another one. Let's try the let's try the rabbit ear one. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It would be easier if my twine was longer, but I already cut it, so and I shouldn't have because I know that I don't like those big floppy bows. There we go. Yep. Okay. So let's get a couple of more dimensionals on here. Get rid of that piece of temporary tape, first of all. Oh, Dimity, that's you talking about Phil. <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was our daughter-in-law, because our son's name is Phil. And then you got to, he was a pilot before he retired. <laughs> thought wait a minute what did i miss no so dimity said phil her husband used to talk non-stop about the clouds before they were married i should know everything about clouds and weather he was a pilot before he retired well he he needs to know about the weather then right was he a commercial pilot a private pilot or was he um in the uh, the air force, air force or something, Dimity. Ted is a mariner, so that's where his interest in that wasn't wasn't a mariner. He is a mariner, so that's where his interests come from. Oh yes, I do like that. Now my ribbon scissors. <laughs> That little trimmy trim. I don't know why they do those weird bows. There we go. What do you think? Okay, hi. Who's that says hi? Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Now, Winkostella. Try to add Winkostella. Because... I think it needs it. So I'll just add some to the brown leaves. And I'm not doing all of them, just a strip down the center of them. And a little bit on this one. Oh, I love this. I haven't been a big fan of the stampin up kits for a long time i raise my hand i fully admit it's like hi my name is glenda mollett and i am not a kit fan but ever since um well for the past maybe year and a half they have been amazing and i love them now okay let's do some inside stuff There we go. Now I have to add a few a few dots because you know I like my dots. I want to put some down below, but I want them to be stamped off. There we go. How's that for the inside? Yes, I think all cards need a bit of wink of Stella too. Dimity's husband was commercial. He used to judge planes doing loops also and teach people to fly. Oh, what an interesting life. That sounds awesome. Hey, Dimity, how's your knee going? I see you posted a picture that you're, you're up and you're walking. That's amazing, girl. Well done. Dimity had knee replacement surgery. It was on the 9th, I think, right? Somewhere around there. Okay, there we go. Now. Get the envelope out, and we'll do because we have to stamp the envelope. I like stamping my envelopes. Do the same thing with that, and then I'm going to fold this over so I know where to stop. 
and we'll just add a few a few dots. Oh, look at that. Oh, good Lord. Like that's only 11 days, Dimity. That's incredible. I remember when my hubby had his knee done. He was not up and walking around after 11 days. I would hang and close on the line. Look at this, ladies. Look at this. Does this not make you want to grab this kit? Like, seriously. I think I'm going to send one of these to my sister. I like it. Okay, let's make number two. See what we can come up with. I didn't alter that card at all. It's exactly the way it was created to be. Well, except for that stupid bow. and We won't go there with the stupid bow. Okay, now they said to do this one sideways. Apparently, I put this on wrong. Because it was supposed to do this, and I made it do this. So, ah. oops. Oh, well. Okay, we need pecan pie. The kits have improved. Yes. Oh, somebody had cataract surgery yesterday. Who was that? Nancy. Oh, Nancy. Welcome to the world where whites will be white again. I tell you, that was the biggest thing when I had my cataract surgery. I was so excited to see white whites again. And you're right, the kits have improved. Okay. There's that. And then they want me to put some dots. I have to clean my blog. Because I got ink everywhere. Okay. I'm going to put I'm going to put some dots down here. And I'm going to put some dots. They say to put them over here, so let's just do that. Of course, I did mine. I did mine wrong because, you know, I didn't put my paper on right, so that's okay. And then the sentiment, and it's going this way, and sit back and relax. So, who's going to order this kit? Yeah, the world is bright again. Oh, dimity, walking unaided. Good for you and crafting. Yay, that'll make you feel better. That will make you feel better. Okay, so I need to put glue on the back of... Okay, this is really weird. Because they say to pop up the sentiment. So the, they got dimensionals on the sentiment. But they got glue dots on the chair. So how am I going? Oh, and oh, I see. Ooh, okay. I got it. Okay. We're going to put Tombow on the leaf. And it goes down flat. And then this big leaf is up on dimensionals. And the sentiment is up on dimensionals. And then the chair is going to straddle the two things that are on dimensionals. Ingenious. Okay, so that's that's that. Now you're, they want me to wrap this twine around. Um the sentiment. I don't know that I want to do that. So we'll see. I'll get the dimensionals on there and then we will see what we're going to do with the twine. Yes, Norma, this is the kit you ordered. Oh, somebody's ordering it. Nancy. Um, and Norma, I ordered all the kits at the same time because I didn't want you guys to be disappointed. So 
if you want to if you want to get your kit it's here now but shh, don't tell anybody it still went against the club i just put that part of the order in early so i knew that everybody would get it cuz i never you never know these kits they sell out so fast okay so that's what they want me to do with that i don't mind that i think we'll do that okay let's get a little bit of adhesive on there Um, and don't forget, tomorrow is free shipping day. Um, any order over $100 is free shipping. So one of these kits plus um, a bundle and you'll have or get some designer paper because, you know, the designer paper is on sale right now. And if you take advantage of the sale price of 15% off plus the free shipping tomorrow, you're going to save at least 26% on that designer paper. 26%. Okay, so there's the, there's the um, twine treatment on that. Okay, let's put this on first. So you can get yours tomorrow when you're over here stamping or Thursday when you're over here stamping because Norma is coming to stamp with me in person two days in a row. It's exciting. Tomorrow, like I said, is my um, June class and that is the Cheerful Daisy class. And then on Thursday is the May and June in color and new color club card stamping. So that one may go a little long. Okay, so now this is gonna go here and it goes almost right over there, it goes up here a little bit, and over there. Now is it straight? Nope. There we go. Now this, see this? straddles those two like that okay so how am i going to all of that and there's my pencil let's just mark that right there okay so i'm going to put glue along here below that pencil mark and then all along here, then let's put, oh, no, it can't go there. There's a big hole there. Don't put it there. Oh, mullet. Okay, I'm not going to push this down. I'm just going to see where else I can put some glue. I can put it on the first two of these. Okay, now let's have another look. I think that's it. Oops, too much glue. Too much glue. There we go. Now I'm going to get some um, dimensional pieces and slide them underneath the bottom of that chair. It seems like I haven't stamped in person forever. It seems like it's been months and I don't, and it's only been a couple of weeks, but. I don't know where the time goes. Okay, well, that's going to go underneath that leg. Oh, that works perfect. And this one is going to go underneath, like off my finger. Underneath there, and one last one underneath the other one and then we're done we'll do the inside and the envelope and you know what's not in this these kits is any bling do you think we need to add some bling other than the wink of stella i think we need to find some kind of jewels to add to those what's 
that to the center. And then we'll do some on this one. There we go. What do you think? Which one do you like better? Do you like do you like the green one? Or do you like the brown one? I know which one I like better, but I'm not going to influence your decision making. Now we're going to stamp inside. Uh, where did I put my ink pad? Green. Somebody likes the green. I lost the stamp. Yes. Oops. Oops. Apparently I didn't stamp that very good. The cards are green because it's beachy. The cards are pretty. Yes, they're both pretty. Somebody loves the umbrella. and uh, Somebody else, the brown one, but loves the umbrella. Carmen says, lovely. I like the green one, but that is only because I had to choose one or the other. I think I like that other stamp better for the inside in the envelope. Okay, let's add some, let's add some dots, because why not? Dots. And dots. I love dots. There's something about dots and blotches that make my heart happy. And I got a new stamp. Oh, I got new stamp sets. Finally, my order came in. So I got, what did I get? I got earthen textures finally arrived. So let me know if you want me to show you these before we say goodbye. Um, I got the Earth and Textures um, designer paper, too. It's on sale. Couldn't get the ribbon for the suite because it's not available. It's out of stock right now. Oh, love, love, love. Well, it's quarter to nine, so I'm not going to make... I'm not going to go rogue and do... Oh, Lord, I like those. Something about those backgrounds. And, of course, I have two more to do, right? But I'm not going to have all the die cuts. Do we have anything beachy left to make cards out of? <laughs> Nervous as of course I want to see. And I got little monkeys. And it was really weird because I opened up that order and I was unloading it all. And I'm thinking, what is this stamp set? I didn't order this stamp set. Like, what the heck? There was an, an extra stamp set in there that I didn't order. So I got a hold of Stampin' Up! And I said, this was in here. I said, I can send it back. And they said, no, don't bother. Just keep it. So I got a free stamp set. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'll show you what it is. I really want to want to make these, but I have to dig out my, my beachy stamp sets. Oh, I've got glue on my table here. By the bay. By the bay, by the bay. Ouch. I was like it. Hey. 
Where's my seaside bay? Oh, there it is. Seaside bay. Who said that? Good choice. Yes, Dimity. Shall we make a real quick one? What do you want me to make? The brown one? Let's make the green one because it's got green and brown. So we'll just put this right on the card base and we'll make it a full front again. I didn't bring my, my machine over, so I'll have to get the dies in the machine. There we go. Just got to slice off a thin slice off the end of that. One side. The other side. There we go. That and that. Okay, I don't need I don't need these blotches because there's other blotches on there. We'll use the other blotches because they're dirty already. All right. I'm just gonna put these onto the blocks or onto my um my thing, the plastic, so I don't lose them. I don't know whether I'm gonna use those little dudes or not. Okay, here we go, blotches. We'll just call them footsteps in the sands of time. What, what was that? Um, what was that soap opera that used to have something about the sands of time? remember oh why did I put that away I need I need I need my dies these are the dies my machine and some white cardstock, and an envelope. The hourglass. Yeah, what what soapy was that? Days of our lives. That's what it was. Okay, a chunk of white, and we'll stamp the bird now. Lost Lagoon, right? What's the other colors in there? Pool party. No. Let's do. Mm, what color should our bird be? And I need something for the sentiment. Oh, there's extra ones in here for the sentiment. Let me pull out. You should see the mess I have. Ladies, I can't function with all this mess. <laughs> it drives me insane. Okay. I think I want, oh, maybe they're too big. Too big. I guess I'm going to use one of that. Did I freeze? No, I didn't freeze. I don't think I'm frozen. I'm moving on my end. But I need to know what color you think I should do the bird in. What color? I don't like that sentiment thing. The bird is going to go here. And then I'll stamp... These dudes. 
will have three birds. What color? Um, okay, let's just use the memento, which I have already. Is this piece big enough? One bird. And are you guys still out there? Are you still? Somebody asked if I'm frozen. Did I freeze for everybody? Bigger piece. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. My nose is going to start plugging up because I opened my window and the wind is blowing. I need that die and I need this die. Let's line these little things up. Then we have to color them. Is that one? And then this one. Oh, Carmen, don't run away forever. Glad you came back. Okay, I'll run these through the machine and we'll cut them out. And get out my crumb cake. I left a bird behind. There we go. So I need crumb cake and um, lost lagoon. And we'll color them crumb cake and lost lagoon. Mummy. You guys still hanging in? I know it's going a bit longer than I normally go. I'm sorry. No, it's not normal. longer than I normally go because it's only 10 to 9 and I usually go for a while. But I, I just need to do this. Okay, so I'm going to use the Light Lost Lagoon. And we're going to add, I don't know. I'm not good at freestyling birds. I don't know what this will look like, but we'll just do it. If I don't like it, I'll just, I'll just stamp another one. And then the light, what's this, light crumb cake. And I'm going over top of the lost lagoon because this is a mummy, mummy bird. And mummy birds are usually not as bright and flashy as daddy birds are. We'll just, uh oh, apparently my crumb cake is drying out. Hang on. Where's my alternative crumb cake? So I guess tomorrow I will be ordering crumb cake blends for my on my free shipping order. So if you're local and you want to get in on that free shipping order, I will leave my desk at six o'clock and be submitted. Well, that's not bad. Let's just put some crumb cake on the bottom of the babies. Maybe I need to do an incentive for people to order with me tomorrow. How about if I add in there, everybody who places an order tomorrow, of course, they're going to get those kits for this card, right? So anybody who places a minimum $60 order between yes Monday and yesterday and the end of the month is going to get 
a kit to create this card from me. So I haven't forgotten that. And anybody who places um, an order of minimum, let's see, what shall I say? Minimum $75 order. So with $60, you will get um, the card kit. With $75, you will get the card kit plus a package of festive pearls. From me as a thank you. I should write that down because you know what? I'm going to forget. I like this. Let's go in there with the, the light crumb cake again and just blend those two together a little bit. So June the 21st, free shipping day on all orders of $100 or more. And you can send your order to me. I'm trying to get a I'm trying to get a group order together in Powell River. And there will be one going from locally. And anybody who wants to get in on that order and save on shipping, let me know. Minimum $60 order, you'll get a kit to create that um, that card that I did on Monday that I just showed you. And a minimum, I'm saying this again so that I don't forget, minimum of $75 order. And I will also throw in a package of festive pearls. Now you may remember those from last year's Christmas catalog. They were so popular, they sold out four times. But there is lots available now. Oh, your Facebook had a moment, Nancy. Oh, I'm glad you made it back. And I'm just putting dimensionals on mummy's legs there. Okay, where's my card? I lost my card. Okay, let's put mummy on. Somebody said crumb cake was the color they were thinking. Mums and babies are different birds. Okay, I'm going to put mummy here. And let's see, where shall we put these? One. Oh, these little babies are so cute. Two, three. One, two, three. Get them all in there. that there, the last one, and then we got a sentiment to put on there. So we'll find, figure out what, oh, look at that, isn't that adorable? I love it. What does the sentiment say? Sit back and relax, perfect. And you get a strip of half inch. That's not half inch, a little bit wider. I think this needs to be narrower than half an inch, but we'll stamp it and we'll find out. Birds are cute, I agree. Dimity says it looks great. Okay. That side, that side. Hang on, I'm just going to trim that a bit. Sorry, it's taking me so long. This is really funny. Love it. And you know, it's all because of this base. Hmm. 
think I want it right at the edge. Straight would be good. There, now let's find some kind of blingy things to put on these. Let's look at the tinsels. Lost Lagoon. Lost Lagoon or Pretty Peacock? Which ones? Lost Lagoon or Pretty Peacock? No, Pretty Peacock's too green. Okay, we're using Lost Lagoon ones. So this is the three-pack tinsel gems. And we'll get, get some gems on here. Oh, you know, I haven't put Winky on here yet. Let's add some Winky to the birds. There we go. And get some blingy dots in here. And there. And we'll put one up here. Look, look, look at that. Is it Pretty Peacock is the one I'm using? Oh, I'm using Lost Lagoon. Who said that Pretty Peacock? Now, the Pretty Peacock ones were a bit on the greeny side. Um, hmm. Don't like them on that card. Let's try them on this card. This will do. I'll have to do something different on the other one, the other card. Like, oh, not those ones. Um, sparkle gems. Sparkle gems. Oh, thanks, Janet. Thanks, Carmen. Norma. I used the sparkle gems on the card I created today. The one for my Facebook Live on there we go. On the third with the what was that? Stargazer designer paper. Because I figured the white ones looked like stars. Okay, those two are done. I haven't done the inside for this yet. There's the envelope. And get the inside one. Use my stamp and paper. And I lost my ink. There it is. We're just about done. I'm going to run a row of the shells along the bottom. And right along the bottom of the envelope. Just like that. Now, I think I can get that bird. I want to put just one bird on there. Let's see if I can get one bird. Um, any post-it note? I need a post-it note. one little bird inside. <laughs> Look at that. What a little birdie. Worked out perfect. Okay. That's it. We're done. I can show you my new stamp sets. Do you want to see the paper too? You want to see the Stargazer paper? So I made a card, the one I'm going to be showing you on the 3rd of July. I think it's the 3rd. Um, out of the Stargazer paper, I use dies. But when I sh do the card on and show you guys how to make it, I'm going to do it without the dies. Hi, Terry. I'm going to 
um, it's going to be stamps, ink, and paper only. Here we go. Let's get those. Oh, look at that. Those are so pretty. I'm sorry. Let me clean my mess. Because, holy moly, if you saw the if you saw the mess I was in, you would not believe it was my craft room. Because I don't craft like this. Because my brain doesn't think when it's messy. There we go. Now you can't see the mess. All right. What I got was... Let's move the cards out of the way for now. Put them somewhere they're not going to get ink on them. Earthen textures. Yay! I... Finally, I waited so long for that. So I got the paper too. I have to move these. Oh, I'm going to stamp on my paper and I don't want to do that. Okay, so earthen textures, and then there's the earthen texture dies. And these really in, intrigue me because they're different and i use this one on my stargazer card this just embosses it doesn't cut but look at this this is 3d so you can fold it and make it 3d i'm looking forward to creating with that so that's the earth and textures and this is the paper that goes with them and this is also on sale this month so I know some, some, who said that it works well? Oh, Valerie. Yeah, Valerie's been creating with this bundle for a while. Okay, so here we go. So this is, the way they make this, they made this paper is they took pictures of actual potter, pottery things, and then they made it, they blew it up and made it into paper. There's that. And then there's this one. And that's on the other side. And then this one. So these are all pictures of pottery. Oops, I didn't show you the other side of that. Look at that. Oops, somebody likes the sweet. Who is that? Valerie. Oh, Nancy likes it. Valerie said, you better order me some more DSP for that set, please. I will. I will add that to your order, Valerie. Thank you. And don't forget, if, you, if you're up to that $75, I'm going in here right now because, you know me, I will forget. If you're up to that $75, you're going to get free bling, too. Where's your order? Hang on, ladies. I just have to insert this and put this in here or I'm going to forget. 161503. And it's on sale for 1445. Oh, Valerie's getting some free festive pearls. Let me do it in here. Festive. Pearls there, then I won't forget to order them for you. Thank you so much, Valerie. Okay, here's the next picture of this. This really makes cool um, pots when you cut them out with those dies. Oh, there's that sheet. And then, oh, look at this one. Oh, isn't that? Can you see the pattern in that? Like you want to touch it, it's almost like it's. Um, it's raised and it's not and some lovely ombre paper on the other side and this is the final sheet and then the back side of that oh love it love it all right so that's earthen textures the bundle is $75.50 would qualify for free pearls and a free card kit. Now, where are my festive pearls? I can show you what you will get with your $75 order. There you go. 
you will get a package of festive pearls. So there's gold and silver and blue, and then there's red hiding up there underneath that color. So that's what you'll get at $75. And then I got the little monkey. Oh, I put the punch away. So the little monkey bundle comes with a mon little monkey builder punch. And I was not going to get this bundle. But I received so many super cute swap cards using this that I had to get it. And even if I just use it for my grandchildren, because, you know, they're all little monkeys. <laughs> they're cute. Okay, so that doesn't have paper with it. That's just the bundle. And then here's the free stamp set I got, layering leaves. This was on my horizon. I was going to order this when I put my order in at the end of the month. I don't have to now. So happy to celebrate you. Best wishes, sending hugs, thinking of you for you. And thank you so much. And then a gorgeous hello. And this coordinates with the bow punch. So guess what? I have to order tomorrow for free shipping. Yep. I got to order the bow punch because now I don't have the punch that goes with it. <laughs> so this is not bundled because the bow punch came out with something else. It's been around for a year or so, but it coordinates with this. It's not bundled. But you know what? If you guys want to order that bundle, I better be writing all this stuff down. If you guys want to order layering leaves and the bow punch, I will give you 10% off. I will give you the bundle price for ordering those before June 30th. I've got to write down $75 best. Div Earl's $60 card kit. Because you know, I'm not going to remember all this stuff. Anyways, um, I love these leaves because you can stamp them, punch them up with the bow punch, and layer them. And oh, it's going to be fun to use. And then the last thing I got in my order was the stargazing designer paper. So here we go. This is, look at this paper. Isn't this amazing paper? Even the other side of the paper, I love it. So that's why I thought that those adhesive back sparkle gems, the clear ones would be perfect. Look just like the stars in this paper. Okay, that's bright. Excuse me, that's bright but you can use it in little bits and you don't have to worry about that side because this side is gorgeous. And there's this one. And then it has blues on the back. And look at this one. Oh, I love this. And then it has, this one has the pinks on the back. And then we get into to the one that has the, um, planets on it in oranges and pinks and purples and that's the back of that and then this one this is kind of like a wormhole and then look at that lot lemon lime twist on the back and then exactly the same pattern as this one only it's in blues and greens and pinks instead of the purple and orange. So what do you think of that paper? Isn't it cool? I love it. I enjoyed making it and I can't wait to cut out some of these um, planets and use them on cards. All right, ladies. Well, thanks for hanging in with me. It's been a long haul. Don't forget free shipping starts tomorrow. Hit those emojis and make Facebook happy. 
<laughs> and make me happy. <laughs> And if you're catching the replay, thanks for hanging in with me. I hope you have enjoyed the cards. And if you're watching live, thank you so much. If you're watching on my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then you and then hit the bell icon and you'll know whenever I update upload my videos. Thanks so much. Has anybody got any questions before I go? Don't forget free shipping tomorrow. 10% off if you order layering leaves and the bow punch. And you'll still get free shipping. And at $75 order between tomorrow, you will get free festive pearls and $60 order between now and the end of the month. And I will send you a card kit for this Daisy. Daisy card. There we go. That one you can get a free card for. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And I'll see you Thursday night at 8 o'clock. We're doing a technique. Stampin' Smiles. Bye for now.